Hi everybody, uh, very happy Independence Day to all of us. Uh, now coming to today's video, so two weeks back I made a video on IT services struggling why. And after making that video, I got few messages. Uh, there are few messages regarding we are doing a continuous SIP in IT sector. Uh, do you think it is good or bad? Or I am doing SIP in TCS or Infosys and those kind of messages. Also, there were a few questions around what is the technical view because I uh, the last video which I made that was uh, more macro where we spoke about the global IT growth rate and GDP global GDP growth rate, what the correlation and all of that. Uh, but there are questions around uh, looking at the charts and all, how do you feel? So I thought I will make this video and take this video also to understand how to use long-term charts, how to blend fundamental and technical data, how to blend charts and technical data and all of that to get a sectoral view. Please note, um, uh, I am a SEBI registered research analyst and whatever I am putting it here, it's not a buy or sell recommendation. It's pure historic analysis of the sector and companies. Uh, so let us go ahead. So I have a trading view screen open and I have a IT Nifty IT chart open. Uh, in case you don't know about trading view, it's a charting uh, tool. Uh, I have a YouTube 30 minute YouTube video on my YouTube channel on trading view. You can go and watch it. Or I have a course on my learning portal learn.scientificinvesting.in where we have a four hour course on trading view. You can watch that to know more about trading view. Now coming about IT index, I am skipping the IT index till 2009 simply because uh, the IT index, uh, the IT companies were not that mature. They were still in high growth phase. And that is why you will see there is a lot of volatility in IT index. Like it became 40, 50 bagger, then it corrected 80% because there was a lot of volatility. The companies were not that big, not that, uh, you know, great being, uh, not that widely being tracked. And 2003 to 7 was a secular bull market and post 7 there was a secular correction. So I'm avoiding all of that period and I'm starting from 2009 uh, when the IT companies became more matured, more sizable, better tracked. And then I will try to show what has happened historically and how to learn from all this history. So first thing if you'll notice from 2009, the IT index gained to 66% in one and a half years, more than one and a half years. So your IT index went from 2000 to 7000, which is almost a 3.5 bagger, which is 266% gain, which happened in 1.7 years or so. And then it went through a correction. Now, the point I want to highlight is if you look at this correction, it was almost a 131 bar. So this is a weekly chart, 52 bars is one year, 104 bars is two year. It almost went through a two and a half years of correction where the stock took almost, the index took almost two and a half years to come back at the same price. And the worst price correction was 25%. So remember this point, there are two types of correction. There is a price correction, there is a time correction. Those who put a stop loss, they might be able to skip price correction if they put a stop loss on the price. But I haven't seen many people putting a time kind of stop loss. But the time corrections can be more frustrating when the stock or index doesn't move for years. Price corrections give more pain at a certain point of time, but time corrections are like slow poison. So note after big 2009 to 11 move, you had a good 2.5 years of time correction. Again, the IT index moved by good 75% from here. And if you look from the bottom, if somebody timed the bottom from 5,500 to literally 12,500, which is like a more than a 2x. And then again, oh, it went... So on the auspiciously work independence day, we are running exclusive discount offer for all our uh, learning courses, tracks, webinars, and memberships. So you can use this coupon code IND10 uh, while making the payment on our portal learn.scientificinvesting.in and whether you are going for a practitioner membership or you are going for a fun tech or a quant tech or a high tech learning track or any of our courses or webinars, you can apply this coupon code and get 10% exclusive discounts. Uh, the discount is available uh, only till 16th of August. 
So do visit the website, do look at these courses and offerings and take whatever suits and you. And then again, it went through another round of time correction, which lasted for 158 bars, which is almost three years of time correction taken to cross the previous price. And again, the worst price correction was 25%. So two times more than two, two and a half years of price correction and time correction, the worst price correction being 25%, which is not that big, but the time correction was huge with 2.5 to almost 2.5 to three years of time correction. Then again in 2018, the index started doing well, but then we got a COVID. And hence I'm excluding this data because all of this happened hardly in one year period where we had some good 12,000 to 16,000, 25-30% move on index and then COVID. I'm again taking this time period post-COVID, once it crossed this resistance, we got another mid move where from 16,600, this index went to 38,000 plus, which is again a kind of 2.5x kind of move. And since then, again, we are having a price and time correction. And against last two price corrections, which were around 25% was brought on. Currently, this time we got a 33% was brought on. And still the time correction is on where let's see how many months or weeks it takes to come back to this level. But so far, if you see, we have spent 84 bars, which means we have spent one and a half years. If we look historically, we have spent almost two and a half, three years also. I will not like to make any predictions. I'm just throwing data in front of you that the time correction has been still uh, lesser than the historic one. The price correction has been a little higher. But let me now blend this data with fundamentals. So in technical, the key analysis is IT index undergoes long time corrections after big up moves. That is what we have seen historically. The price corrections don't go beyond 25, 26%. And right now also we saw a 33% price correction. But the time corrections are much more longer and we might be little above the midway. And if you connect with the previous video, uh, if the global GDP growth rate is going to be very, very low uh, and uh, you see the commentaries right now, the projected growth, every company is giving around 6-7%. I'm talking about the companies which make the IT index, the big four services companies. I am not talking about differentiated business, software businesses. And actually we did a webinar two, uh, you know, three, four months back where we kept a lot of focus on companies which are little differentiated, which are not dependent on these kind of service models. Uh, so if you want to know through those companies, uh, again, let me highlight a disclaimer. A lot of those companies have run up a lot. So don't take all that webinar as something. Nothing we say is buy or sell recommendation, but to learn about those businesses, what is a software business, product business, platform business, ERD business, and all of that, you can go through the webinar. But this focus on services and I continue to remain uh, cautious on IT services business uh, because uh, of these reasons. But now let me blend the fundamental side of data. So let's go back to 2009. Now, let me just uh, enlarge this table. And what I have done here for you is I have taken Infosys and TCS, the two big companies, the two representatives of the whole IT index. And I have their sales value, their PAT value, their P, their three-year sales calendar and three-year PAT calendar. I have taken this value right from 2008 because I am showing you these charts from 2009. I already highlighted the reason. Now, watch it closely. The years when IT sector became a multi-bagger, the index became a multi-bagger, this whole move of March 9 to December 11. Look at the P ratio of these companies, 12.6 for Infosys, 10 for TCS. So you don't get multi-bagger just out of momentum. Technical is somebody big acts fundamentally and hence you get a chart. The reasons why some companies make high, higher, all of that is why big money is made. Big money is made by buying things fundamentally cheaper. And if you see, within two years, this 10, 12 P became 27 and 25. So you got a 2.5 X expansion on your P multiple and then whatever EPS growth rate you had and hence you were able to get a three bagger kind of thing. And once you got into a zone where 
uh, you know, this 25 and 27 P looked overvalued and why uh, overvalued and then market went in correction. And then again, after two years, if you see this two, three, three years when the index did nothing, you came back from 25.6 P to 21.8 P, 27 P to 17 P, despite of last three years sales cagar being in high mid growth rates of 16 to 23 percent, 21 to 30 percent, despite of your PAT growing at 26 to 28 percent, 12 to 16 percent. So despite of high growth rate, you got your P compressed. So when you will buy at high P, you have chances and despite of high earnings, you went through a price and time correction. Then again, it came back. If you see, this is the period around August 13th. The next run started. And again, the 17 P expanded to 20 P, small run up, small run up. And again, you went under time correction. Why did you go under time correction? This time your earnings took a hit. So if you look at this period of 2016, 17, look at this period, 2016, 17, 18. See your growth rate of 23% three year CAGR to 17 to 15 to 11 to 19 to 9. Your PAD CAGR 16, 14, 13, 10, 9, 5. Same happening with TCS. So basically your earnings itself went for toss and when your earnings went for toss, your P went for toss and then you were stuck in a P range in fact around uh, 15, 16 to 20 here and around 20 here. And then we got another run up in 18, 19. This was not an earnings based run up, but maybe more around uh, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, valuation based run up, which we saw, and this was not a big run up. We saw also, it was hardly a 25% move and we got COVID, but what happened post COVID was you saw another round of good improvement in earnings because of the whole IT sector, the whole world adopting to digital and IT sector, providing that digital. And you can see your three year CAGR improved from 9% to 12%, 13%, 17%. Uh, TCS, if you see TCS, we all talk of TCS, but TCS performance has not been great. If you see Infosys, there's a significant improvement in performance, but TCS performance has been reasonably medium. There was nothing extraordinary. Any three year period, if you see the best possible CAGR we saw was hardly 12%. So nothing great by TCS on sales growth and a pad growth. And despite of that, when these companies, now the point I want to make it is everybody is telling that IT sector gone through 30% correction, one and a half years IT sector has not moved. So I'm buying IT sector, IT services company, IT index left and right, because I expect the same kind of old performance to repeat what happened in 2023. My response, I might be wrong. These are only dreams just because the sector has done that kind of move just two years back. It doesn't mean again, it is going to do that kind of move move. You have to understand why that move happened. That move happened because 10 years of digital business happened in three years. You got that move because the companies were working from home. Everybody was working from home. All the sales were stopped. So the margins got inflated by three, four percent. Do you think those kind of times are going to come back? And despite of that, now look at where the valuations are. When these companies were growing at 18 to 23 percent, that time their P valuation peaked around 27, 30. And now you are growing at less than, uh, and you see now the 17% has peaked out. This is going to go down based on the commentaries, which you see based on the earnings you see. Uh, TCS anyway has not done that great. So basically now what you are seeing is you are seeing maybe at best a lower double digit growth rate. And still, despite of all this correction, still you are at 25 and 28 P, whereas last time at a much double growth rate, you peaked at 27 P. So how can, at least based on data, how can you expect any kind of mad move to come in these IT services? At max, even if a 20% move comes with this kind of growth rate, you will hit 30 P. Uh, you have always traded 30, 36 P at the peak. In fact, the, the most uh, aggressive P which happened was during COVID when these companies were trading at 36 P, which was the lifetime highest P. So from a lifetime highest P, you are going back to a 7-8% kind of growth rate. 
then how these kind of expectations are reasonable? So I have uh, I have nothing against or in favor against a sector, and I have no comments on you know uh, whether doing SIP is good or doing bad. I my objective is basically to throw this data to you to show first against historic two three years of time correction we are maybe more than halfway ahead. Price correction has happened. But looking at the growth and looking at the valuation, I think we are still not touched, forget the bottom, we have not touched the median. We are still away from the median. I don't want to comment if there is a re-rating which has permanently happened in IT sector. I think these are all narratives. When it happens, we say it has happened and price is correct, we try to justify. So I will not try to predict anything. Uh, my sense is it is one of the best sectors Hi all. So on the auspicious we work independence day, we are running exclusive discount offer for all our uh, learning courses, tracks, webinars, and memberships. So you can use this coupon code IND10 uh, while making the payment on our portal learn.scientificinvesting.in. And whether you are going for a practitioner membership or you are going for a fun tech or a quant tech or a high tech learning track or any of our courses or webinars, you can apply this coupon code and get 10% exclusive discount. Uh, the discount is available uh, only till 16th of August. So do visit the website, do look at these courses and offerings and take whatever sectors, suits you. Where do you find a sector which generates so much of free cash flow, which keeps getting distributed as dividend and still growth is there and the world is relying more and more on IT. So that way, I think this sector does deserve a little better average rating than other sectors. But whether it has got, whether it has not, I think I will leave it up to you to decide. But what I want to highlight is still these companies at a half of the growth than how it was historically, still it is available at beyond the average PE. So one needs to take their own call whether this sector is really attractive right now or not. My job was just to, you know, present these data and just, you know, create a little bit of more curiosity and questioning mind to you. And I hope I was successful. I will see you with another video soon. Thank you.